Hi, this is Moyle Sisters with Lula Rowe, and we are making this video to let all consultants out there know what to do in between onboarding and when you do your first launch party. There's a lot of things that you can do to get prepped, a lot of products that you want to buy before you have everything ready for your launch party. Um, everything that I'm going to be telling you today is actually on a document that will be found on our blog, and all of the links to the products will also be on that document, so you can find exactly what we purchased. So we'll be starting first of all with ordering your half sheet labels or half sheet sticky labels. This is what you're going to be printing your addresses on for all the inventory that you're shipping to your customers. You want to get the biggest bang for your buck because you're going to be using these all the time. So I think we found the best deal on Amazon. Um, the next thing you'll want to buy is your poly millers. Um, I think the best deal we found was on Amazon and these are the bags that you're going to put your inventory in and they just have a tab and you pull it off and it's sticky and you shove it in, put on your address label and you're good to go to ship it. Um, so that was also the best price on Amazon. Um, the next thing you'll want to get is your clothing racks and I would advise you to go big or go home. So get the commercial grade um, best racks that we found were on Bed Bath & Beyond or Amazon and the commercial grade can carry a lot of weight. We bought ours from Ross the first time and they broke within about two weeks so make sure that you spend a little bit more money to get the better product. Um, and we got our clo clothing racks on Amazon as well. Um, the next thing you want to buy are the totes. Totes for sh um, transporting your inventory. So for all of your pop-up boutiques or um, when you do parties over at your friend's house, you're going to be traveling with your inventory and you want to make sure that you have nice totes that have a lock in case you're driving with a truck um, so they don't fly off the back or the lid doesn't come off. There's also good bags that they have at Ikea that you can just roll up your inventory and wrap around the hanger so it's easy to just put right on your racks when you get there. Um, we also would encourage you to get a clear tote so that you can see your inventory if you're tight on space in your home and then it's easier to pull it when you're sending it to your customers. Um, the next thing you'll want to do is spend some money and get a dress form. They're about $60 on Amazon, you can find them other places, but uh, we have found the best success with putting our clothes on a dress form and taking pictures with them. I think it gives your customers an idea of what it looks like on and it just kind of makes your pictures look a little better. So make sure you're getting a dress form. Um, the next thing is hangers. Getting a lot of hangers and um, a lot of people actually go to stores and see if they have any extra hangers. We just got ours um, at Walmart and TJ Maxx. They have good deals so and we went velvet just because we thought they were cute and they're um, easier on our clothes. So and the next thing is stamps.com. Set up an account for stamps.com. It'll save your life. Um, every package you send will save you 70 cents and it lets you, allows you to save more for heavier packages than the post office does. Um, it also sends your customers a tracking number and they uh, um, send you a scale that you'll be able to plug in right into your computer so that you know the exact weight of your package and then you can print it right off at home with your half sheet sticky labels. Um, so get that before you start your inventory online. That's the best thing to do. We actually didn't have it right away and we were frantic. So the next thing is to get a ton of sticky notes. Those are for when you pull your inventory off of your racks and you set them aside for your customers. You're going to want to write their name on the sticky note and put it aside before you put it in the bag. Um, I would also buy Sharpies for that so that you can write their names and the next one is um, clothespins and this seems kind of silly but we use these all the time to put our Cassies on and our Amelia's so that we can tighten them up in the back and make them look better like it's on an actual human um, so make sure that you are sticking them in the back and then taking the pictures and they look a lot better um, the next thing and this is optional but it's made our lives so much easier while taking pictures is doing a sizing signs so you can go cheap like I did and just get pieces of paper and write the size and put it in the frame every time that you're taking pictures um, and you do this because it's a lot easier to organize your inventory and know what size each shirt is so make sure you do that take the picture of each item what size it is um, and you can make them as cute as you want I'm just pretty simple 
Um, the next and last thing is set up a bank account. And you'll want to set up a bank account because you're going to be doing tons of purchases on this account and a lot of money is going to be coming in. So you don't want it to be in your personal bank account. And it's also good for tax purposes. Um, thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, you can comment on our blog and we'll have all of this in written form on our blog with a document and all the links to all the products. So stay tuned for our next video for LuLaRoe. Thanks so much.